Let me just explain to you guys how we ended up with the 5 Series in our backyard, and uh, we got some concrete now, finally. <laughs> so as you guys can see, we did just pick up a new car. Now I do have a problem, I absolutely do have a problem, especially considering that the Super is still not back on the road, and we've had this car for over like two to three months now, which is insane. Now the good thing is we do have temporary plates, we do have a temporary permit, so we can drive this car finally, um, but today is the day I'm actually picking up another YouTuber from the airport. We're gonna be coming down here, finally got my full welding setup right over here, all my bodywork stuff right over there, so we finally have everything to finally get this super back together on this channel, which is gonna be super nice. I normally always take my cars to a body shop, get the work done there, bring the car back, and you guys just basically see it done. But this time, I pretty much got all the stuff that's needed to actually rebuild this thing in front of you guys and also for myself in front of me so I can actually learn these skills because it's very important if we're gonna be rebuilding a lot more cars on this channel, which we are doing. <laughs> but the focus in today's video, shockingly again, is not the super, it is that new car we have in the backyard. I'm just gonna talk about how Pickapool actually sells cars but their hospitality is just amazing compared to any other dealership I've ever been to and they're not even a dealership so buying this car guys was an absolutely amazing experience me and my boy Arlon went down to pick a pool just to buy some parts like what everyone else goes down to pick a pool for but uh we just saw that they had a section full of cars that they were selling like I mean I normally when I see those cars I'm like oh those are probably clapped just because most of them are donated and uh you know like they're probably just trying to make a quick buck because they're all put together and uh, maybe they have like a slight issue or a major issue but they look pretty good as long as they look pretty good they end up selling the whole car complete and this 550i which is a m sport lci with adaptive headlights the full m sport kit and everything m sport wheels everything was selling for 2300 plus tax that being said for 2500 i really don't think you guys can lose on a full 550i M Sport LCI E60. I think that's a killer, killer, killer deal. And uh, when we were there, all it did was kept on cranking and cranking and cranking. We couldn't get the car to start, but we did notice that the fuel rail was empty. So you guys are gonna see us later in this video actually dive into the fuel tank issue and all that stuff at the pick and pull. But before we actually get into all that stuff, I do wanna say um, that this video was not planned for, it just happened. And uh, I know a lot of you guys told me you guys wanna see an E60 on this channel. So I saw the opportunity and I had to snag it. But yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, the hospitality there, I've never been treated so nicely anywhere else I've ever been and this is a pick and pull This is basically a junkyard and uh, basically well, as soon as I bought the car um, They're like hey man. Uh, uh, thank you for your purchase. Um, we negotiated by the way too it wasn't 2500 out the door I got him down to $2,100 out the door So that's already taxes paid on the car and that's the car paid for 2100 bucks out the door, but yeah, she was like thank you so much for your purchase She's like oh you can go ahead and grab any battery off the rack as well Now these are all used batteries, but I found a 2021 battery battery um, for and I get to have it for free so that's amazing that's at least a hundred dollars in our pockets right there so I got a free battery and as soon as we grabbed that free battery she's like do you guys want some waters and I was like uh <laughs> since when does pick and pull give away waters and me and my boy got some cold waters that day really made our day definitely made the twenty one hundred dollars that we spent a lot nicer and the icing on the cake guys is when she actually gave us a 30 percent off coupon for anything in pick and pull like our entire transaction so they said literally normally when we sell our cars at a pick and pull um, we offer a 30% off coupons for any parts you guys want to purchase for that car any car at all and it's the entire transaction is not just one part so I'm definitely gonna be saving that coupon for a larger purchase but I just thought it was really 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 cool to share that because I did not think pick and pull actually sells cars like that and I did not think pick and pull actually has some hospitality which is super 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 nice because I've never been treated like that and honestly any dealership I've been to normally they're just trying to snag your money and there's no negotiation and uh, yeah usually dealerships sell but before we actually get into today's video today's video is sponsored by Carly. Carly's been a skinner I've been using for so, so, so long. Literally since I got my first BMW, I would say like five or four to five years ago, which is absolutely insane. And I bought it by choice. I've enjoyed it for so, so, so long. And it's been an absolute honor now to be able to work with them because it's still a scanner I use till today. One of the best scanners and something that's super easy to use. That is a primary key, guys. Super easy to use. And I'm happy to say that the new version of the app has improved the user interface so customers can quickly understand what the product can actually do. There's also better visualizations and repair and maintenance instructions, making it even easier to see how you can do your own repairs. And you can more quickly now view past data in your dashboard. And what's also super nice is that once you're inside the app, by just clicking it one time, clicking on your phone, connecting to your car the first time, it will always stay connected to your car, which is super nice. Saves your data and everything is there. Even if you want to go back and check it out later, you don't have to rescan your car. You can literally just view it on your phone. I am sitting in my mom's car right now, and uh, I just figured for today's video, I might as well 
just make sure her car is gravy and navy. There is no lights in the dash, but what's cool about BMWs is that if there's an actual issue and it's gonna be coming up in the near future, it will still throw a code. So let's go ahead and run the code to see if does this car actually have any issues. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of saved cars for how long I've been actually using Carly in all these different vehicles. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one because I'm gonna actually use um, my mom's car on the Carly. It's an X1, I believe a 20, I believe a 2015. Go ahead and get that connected. Now for my mom's car, literally not having any lights on the dashboard and no actual check controls over here. It does have 65 background codes, which are basically minor issues, but I mean, she's got a lot of minor issues. Like for example, if I click on the ABS, car alarm, panic alarm, uh, temperature sensor one defective. So again, like there's some things with these cars that like you can have a billion codes and you'll never know because the car does actually show it on the dashboard, but Carly will actually tell you. And if you're still wondering what that is exactly, you can just go ahead and click search more info and it takes you to Google and you guys can click on forums to see how people fix it exactly, what exactly the issues are, which are super nice. Carly can tell you all of that. And again, that's why I love Carly. It's super easy to use. And I'll be using it for God knows how long. If you guys want to cop one, check out that link down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into today's video. And this is the next morning, guys. Welcome back. Today, we're picking up a 550i from iPull U Pull. I ended up running the Carfax last night and I ended up finding out that this is probably one of the most well-maintained cars I've ever purchased. And it was from a pick and pull, which is crazy. That being said, we are fully loaded up. I got everything we need to hopefully try to get this thing started over there, load it into the trailer, and then drive it home. And theoretically, hopefully, if everything's moving in the Navy, that car should be running and driving by the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned. But obviously, worst comes to worst, um, we might need a new engine. So um, we are prepared regardless. I think because of the spec this 550i is in, it is worth saving completely. And even if this N63 motor ends up having valve stem issues, we're going to try to figure out a way to save this motor. Again, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, so we don't have to go through anything. And it's just a little thing as a fuse or a fuel pump, um, just because what we noticed the Carfax, um, this car was dealered at the Toyota dealer. Like it was maintained at the Toyota dealer. So maybe, maybe the issue that's with the car is not as transparent to Toyota dealer than it would be for a BMW dealer. So that being said, let's go ahead, get some gas in this truck, get a trailer and, and head down to Stockton pick a pull, which is crazy to pick up our new car. Just made it to the gas station, guys. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us to get this thing to full. Right now it's like, eh, I would say at, at an eighth of a tank. Um, This does take regular gas, uh, God bless but I still feel like we're gonna put a lot of damage. So um, put your guesses down below. Uh, lovely. All right guys, so it looks like it's one of those days that the truck eats, but not your man. Mainly because, you know, I'm out of money, man. I just spent $135 filling this thing up and uh, it wasn't even that empty, to be honest. I could have still went another like maybe 100 miles on this thing, but oh man, gas prices guys are crazy. And if you don't have a Costco membership, I don't know what y'all doing. Actually, I shouldn't even be promoting them right now because then you guys are gonna all be at Costco. And if everyone's at Costco and the prices are gonna go up, Disregard what I just said. Just got our U-Haul trailer, <laughs> heading out. Guys, the weirdest experience ever. We're not here at Copart, we're here at Pick and Pull with our trailer and our documents. Let's pick up our new 550i. <laughs> I really hope this is not just some piece of garbage because I mean, technically this is where all the garbage comes. So they just pulled the car around over here. Unfortunately, um, they don't actually have a forklift that won't damage the car. So pretty much just got it pushed over here. Um, as of right now, um, Erlon actually checked the fuel rail yesterday and uh, we noticed that there's actually no fuel in this fuel rail right now. So that either comes, they can come down to two things. It can either be an electrical issue, it could be a fuse, it could be actually like something electronically wrong with this car, um, or it could just be something as little as a fuel pump. So we went down to AutoZone just now and uh, we, we got some starting fluid. We're gonna try to spray it in the intake and see if this thing starts. If it starts, guys, that is absolutely insane. And then we can honestly just drive it onto the trailer, probably even just go into pick and pull right now and just get a fuel pump. <laughs> like, imagine getting this whole car running and driving from pick and pull. Would be absolutely insane. But if it doesn't do anything, it won't turn over or anything like that, um, we might just try to push it onto the trailer, get this thing home and try to figure it out later. But without further ado, we got the jumper on the car. It is on. And uh, all right, bro, you ready for this? Yeah, that's right. Moment of truth. So we're gonna go ahead and space the start of starter food, guys. And just hope to God this thing starts up. Yeah. That's good. Stop.
All right, guys, first start up with installing the brand new fuel pump, moment of truth. No <laughs> way! Oh. oh! That didn't sound good. Oh! Oh, bro, something popped. Yeah, oh, oh, but it started. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> watch, this, watch this thing go down in flames right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, moment of truth. Oh, no. Bro. Oh, oh. Wait, oh, but it wants to die. It is bogging. Yeah, yeah, like I have to constantly rev it. <laughs> guys now that we're finally back home this is you know obviously nor the the the, the narrative version um but yeah we got the car at the place and unfortunately unfortunately um the issue turned out to be a lot more than a fueling issue it turns out maybe a transmission issue and the transmission is not going into any gear whatsoever which honestly leads me to a belief it's probably either low on fluids or one of the seals are blown normally if it doesn't go into reverse that's an actual transmission issue if it doesn't go into drive that's a transmission issue but thankfully um it doesn't go into any gear at all which i guess is a good sign just because that means basically mean that there's no pressure being pressurized within the transmission or there's just no fluids being able to put in any gear um so hopefully gonna be ordering all those parts from fcp euro and then trying to do a full transmission service so that is ideally the goal hopefully that's gonna be the next video on this 550i is trying to resurface that transmission um the, the fuel pump unfortunately did not fix the issue we replaced the entire fuel pump which was no fun um but once we actually got that fuel pump replaced it didn't crank and it turned out it was just the fuse it looks like they swore that took this car down to a mechanic or something mess with the fuses or something or this car could have been at a, a copart yard and somebody moved that fuse over um to basically prevent any other person to buy this car because there's some there's people that do that on copart there's people that go down to copart for a run and driving car and they'll literally remove a fuse that will like for the fuel pump so the car doesn't turn over and uh yeah it's kind of a messed up thing but they do that because then nobody else is willing to bid on the car and then they can actually get the car for much 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 cheaper which i think is just cheating the person that's selling the car it's really messed up people do that nowadays and unfortunately that's what happened with us but thankfully end of the day the engine runs so 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 good and doesn't seem to have valve stem um, issues I mean we barely barely ran the car but I didn't see any clouds of smoke which is a huge good sign these 550i are notorious for clouds of smoke from the valve stems and thankfully hopefully fingers crossed that is looking really good and what's also looking super good is that the Carfax literally has service history every 3,000 miles at the dealer at the Toyota dealer not the BMW dealer which is kind of odd but at the dealer every 3,000 miles every oil change uh, spark plug change everything was done at the dealer since um, the car has pretty much left the dealership which is insane and just to get back to the whole hospitality thing I don't think every pickup pool is gonna treat you this way this time I really I guess I just got a very nice uh, person this woman uh, basically when I went into the second day to pick up the car I went in there to also uh, get a fuel pump so we could actually do the job right then and there at the pick and pull yard and I grabbed the fuel pump went up to the cashier and she's like is that for the car that you just bought I was like yeah she's like just take it and fuel pumps at pick a pull are 60 bucks that ain't free so again <laughs> it was a pretty amazing experience and god bless and uh just you know i, I figured it'd be kind of cool to just film an episodes of just buying a car from pick a pull and seeing you know end of the day is it can it be a score or is it a loss so i guess we'll find out hopefully in the next video once we get that transmission stuff sorted this thing starts running and driving in the next video guys <laughs> i'm gonna do a full detail and it's gonna be one of the sickest e60s out there without further ado guys that's gonna have to conclude the video hopefully actually in the next video it's not gonna be transmission job it might be something on the supra so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash a like button without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay home boss see you on the next one peace out